Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and I wanted to come in here to Lumber Tycoon 2 and show you um, a secret that me and Mummy found yesterday. Um, so, Mummy, uh, after we got the scoobus, scoob, the scoopster, this guy, she says, press E on him. Scoob. What was that craziness? Scoob. So, um, <laughs> after finding out that the scoob actually has an effect to him, I noticed that it pushes things around. So, being very careful, I went up to the, uh... Scoob. The thing. The thing? Do the thing? Up there? Here. I'll just show you. Okay, so... Let's hop in a truck. And, like I said, hopefully I don't lose it. If I lose it on camera, then that's... I mean, that's just gonna be an amazing video anyway. So, um, here we go. Uh, oh, also, I don't have, um, the axe on this one. The mani axe. I don't think. Yeah, because it's loaded in on my base one, slot one. So I'll have to go do that as well. Oh, here we go. Okay, so um, you guys have seen me knock down the uh, rock bridge before, right? And I usually do it with a truck, which is amazing and fun. But um, this time we're, we're going to, I'm going to do something risky. So I don't recommend doing this because you are only going to get one scuba per person. I mean, and that's it. That's the end of the thing. So, and it, like, I really don't want to lose my scubas, but I will. Uh, I will risk it to show you what we found. Um. All right, let's go this way. We. <clears throat> you won't believe what I found. I'll just go ahead and tell you. I can move the rock with the scubas, and it moves it much further than the. Um, than the, uh, the truck does. Oh wow, my life is going down like super fast. Oh gosh. Whew, got me worried there for a second. If you've not done your business, go do the business quest. Oh gosh, oh stop, stop, oh man. By the way, the scuba for some reason stays in the car reasonably, reasonably well. Like it stay, like it doesn't fall out. Except for that time. That one time that I said it, and I cursed myself, and it, it's... that's... <laughs> Alright. Try this again. It might be because the physics were working, like, excellently well tonight. Here we go. Whoa, no! Scubus, no! Come back, Scubus! Alright, hold on. I'll drive over to him. I don't want to walk that far. Here we go. It's like... <coughs> Come on, Scoobus. He's the Scoob. Um, I could probably drive down that. Here, I don't, I don't want to risk it. Do, 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 do. Come on, Scoob. Oh, oh, don't step on him. If you step on the Scoob, he goes crazy. So, place your Scoob next to the rock. Scoob. Boom. It's only going to move a little bit at a time, but it is definitely moving. And if you push up against them at the same time, like... Ooh, even bigger. Come on. That's <laughs> such a creepy face. I think, and don't quote me on this, but I think when he grows... The back of his head actually grows out further than the rest. Scoob. And that'll give you a bigger push. Again, Scoob. don't quote me on that. I have no clue. I don't, I don't have a copy of the model itself. Scoob. Or its code. Do, 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 do. But it's definitely Scoob. moving the rock. As you can see. Alright. With that in place. Oh, gosh. Oh, no! Can I get back up? I can't get back up, can I? No. No, and I just left my truck up there. Hold on. I could have sworn there was a way to like get back up there. Hmm, maybe not. Mm, it's a good thing I got an axe with me. Hold on. Drop the axe. Alright, stand the axe up. Come on. Can I grab the axe once I'm back up there, though? Oh no, not if it knocks down. 
Silly. Okay. This is not going to be high enough. Yeah, definitely not high enough. And it falls down. Oh, well. Oh, well, wait. <clears throat> there we go. Wee. I knew there was a way to get back up there. Silly gooses. See? Had y'all worried. Alright, let's go back it up. Normally, this is what... Oh, gosh! Normally, this is what I do to, like, get it to fall down. As I start hitting it with the truck and banging it around. And slowly, but surely, but consistently, it starts moving. Ooh. Ooh, can I wedge it in between the truck and the... Oh, snap. Come on, Scoob. Scoob. Ooh, that was a big push. Good job, dude. All right, let's move this forward a little bit. And can we wedge it? Oh, there we go. Okay. Wedge it like that. Oh, come over here like this. Place this. Oh, bright headlights. All right, here we go. Big scoop, ready? Scoop. Boom! That was a big push. Scoop. That didn't work so well. Scoop. All right, I'm gonna go back here. Scoop. Wow! Scoop. Okay, little push. That's okay. We can re re wedge the truck like that. Grab this. Oh, right in the back of the truck. No, that's here. Just get out. There. There you go, Scoob. Over here. And. Is it moving it without me? Scoob. Boom. Scoob. Boom. Come on. Come on. There we go. Like I like this because you can you can see how big of a push it is. That is crazy. Man. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay. I wonder if I can wedge it in between the back of the truck. Oh, oh. Scoo. <laughs> it like lifted up the truck. That's insane. Scoo. Scoo. Okay. Gotta back the truck up a little bit. There we go. And go. Scoo. Ooh, big push. Get it, Scoob. Scoob. Meh. We've almost got it. Like, normally it takes me a really long time to push it with the axe, but... Scoob. Come on, buddy. Just a couple more. A couple more. Alright. Scoob. Maybe if I were to get a second truck. Scoob. Alright, let's back it up one more. Here we go, Scoob. Do it. Scoob. There it goes. Wee. Nicely done, everyone. GG. <laughs> so now we can take this back down. Because I don't want to lose it. Oh, oh no, no. So I could, I can go off that direction, which, you know what, I think I'm going to. I just have to keep an eye on my scoop. Here we go. Oh no! Oh, oh, oh. Scoob, you want to help me out here, buddy? Let's, uh, let's go ahead and flip a truck. Come on, bud. Scoob. Boom! Flip that truck over. Flip that truck. Scoo. 
That is not working whatsoever. Scoo. Come on, buddy. Oh, it didn't, didn't. There it goes. I don't think this is going to work as far as like throwing the truck upside down. Scoo. Nope, I'm, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose my scoob if I keep this up. Scoo. Boom. Okay, anyhow. This was the main point. This right here. Yay! And it only took us 10 minutes. Which is like a lot longer than it should have taken us. But that's okay. I had fun. Did you guys have fun? So much fun. Whoa! <laughs> oh, what fun it is to chop trees in the lumberland. Hey, oh, a huge thank you out to Defaultio for sending me the t shirts. Um, my daughter was very happy with her um, cone t shirt, and uh, I am very happy with the lumberland t shirt and the Roblox t shirt. Those are amazing. Thank you really appreciate it um i think i've got some more apparel actually um what do you guys think of the hello juniper <clears throat> i know that i've got the product uh like i've got merch that happens do you guys actually are you interested in it at all because if not i can come up with a new design and i can start doing some like posters and stuff on um stream labs and i could sell merch off of there which it's gonna take me a little bit of work to actually put everything together, but I mean, it would be other things than just t-shirts and, and stuff like that. Um, I've been trying to get a hold of Hello Juniper and they're not answering me. <clears throat> so if they don't answer me and they don't answer my emails, then I'm probably gonna go with a different um, merch company. Uh, I have my contract and it says I can cancel it anytime and I retain the rights and the ownerships of all my designs, so. Sorry, if you can't tell, I'm a little frustrated with them. And it's, it's I'm not angry, okay? Because anger is not an emotion. Anger is a byproduct of another emotion. And my other emotion is frustration. <gasps> Dude! Pink car! I just rezzed a pink car! I can now, I, ooh, I can put that in the thumbnail now and it won't be clickbait. Ooh, sweet. <laughs> I gotta drive it around. Uh, the Maniacs. So, um, you guys were asking me how to get the Maniacs and everything else. I don't know. Okay, I just know where to get it. Um, but we need to... I would definitely say um, we need to go over there and try to memorize the... You know what? Did I look for the presents? I didn't even look inside there to see if the presents are here yet. Oh my gosh. Silly code. Well, now I got a pink truck, so... I'm awesome. <laughs> the pink trucks are quite rare. Okay, they're not that rare. But they're fun. And they're rarer than most other cars. Yes. Yes, please. It's a deal. Done deal. Done dealio. Um, and I also thought of something. If you're going to go for the Maniacs, make sure you do it in the morning so you have the full day to actually get it and bring it back up because if you do it at night like if you get in there and the shop closes while you're in the maze yeah you're not going to be able to get back out with it <clears throat> and the item works the the maniacs item that you pick up works just like other shop items it takes a second to despawn but it will despawn if you drop it and wait so <clears throat> Heading over to fancy furnishings. The place for your everyday needs. Okay. And what I'm guessing is the maze itself, because that box, if you were to take that box outside the store, it would de-res. It would despawn. So the maze has got to be this size. I mean, it's got to be the size of the store. I don't think it's any bigger than that. So... I mean, how long does it take us to walk? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take about eight and a half seconds to walk across the whole thing. So I don't know. I don't know. 
Let's open this up. Come on. Oh my goodness. It's like super dark. Hold on. Do I need to do the the filter thing? Uh, some of you were asking me how I do the filters on Roblox. Oh, I don't do it on Roblox. I do it inside my OBS studio. Open broadcast software, the thing that I use to record. Um, there's filters on there. Hold on. Um, let's turn down the brightness a little bit. Contrast. Gamma up. Contrast up. There we go. So now we can see. As you can see, that's where we came in at. All right. That's the wall. If you if you look where the wall to the store is, oh gosh, can't see. The wall to the store is right there. All right. That's like right above us. And we don't go any further right, so it's all all this side. Okay, so that's what happens when you follow the left wall. Or, sorry, the right wall. Okay. So here's the ramp. It splits off one, two, three. I think this right here is just a turnaround. Yep. That just turns you around. Hold on. Right, right. Oh gosh, now I'm really lost. Okay, follow the left wall. Uh, no, uh, follow this left wall and we're back out. Right there, okay. So, that's what happens when you follow the left wall. Um, hold on. Okay, we can do exact movements by, um, hold on, I gotta get rid of the chat again. By using the greater than less than sign, signs, like this. Okay, so it kind of goes up and over around like that. This is the second path off the first path. Follow its right wall. And you're back to the second path. Okay. I'm just going to kind of run around here, get a feel for the maze. Okay, that was the third path. And the third path linked in pretty well. So the third path is just straight dead end. Okay? Well, if you stay if you stay left. If you go right, that's where it gets confusing because then it runs into path two. Like that. So that's where path two is. Path three is a dead end right there. Path three goes back out right here. Okay. Path one. This is the first split. <clears throat> okay. So this right here. What's this? That's a dead end. What's this? Oh gosh. These are very confusing. Okay. So. Let's go to path two. You see how this correlates. Okay, that those two right there, those don't go the same direction. That goes back to number three. So let's go this direction, down path two, and we'll take the left path to see where this goes. Okay, that's a dead end. That's a dead end. So the left path, the second, second entrance, where am I? Oh gosh, oh gosh, I'm lost, I'm lost! Just kidding. We get back out right... Nope, that's the third path. And... Wow. Well, that's a really long hallway. Well, it just turns around in a circle. Okay, wow. Oh, now I'm all confused. Okay, here's a long hallway. Here's another long hallway. Dead end. Dead end. OK, 
Okay. And that's where that's at. All right, so let's try a little bit of shift lock. And see what's on the other side here. Wait a second, what is that? There's a ladder back there. Is that where we came in at? Hold up. I can't see through there. I think it is. That's where we came in at. Okay. Okay. So that ladder right there actually goes up. Hmm. So it is directly behind where you're at. Hold on, I gotta turn off shift lock. That was crazy. Okay. So let's just trace this back here. I'll, I'll grab it while I've got it here, but okay, that's not too confusing. Here's the confusing part. Oh, oh, come on. There's these long pathways to confuse you. Because that's, that's the point of a maze, is to get you turned around and get you confused. But it doesn't look too... Okay, oh, that's path three's block. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, not that way. Come this way. No, that's a long hallway again. Wait, where am I going? I'm confused. I'm so turned around. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Come on, just a little bit further. There we go. Yay. Sorry it's so bright. I got it, Corey. Yes, please. Now I'm gonna try the old trick of just going straight on the right wall until I get there. Oh gosh, sorry, it's so bright. I just threw my ax into the, uh, the truck there so I have a box one. I am going to follow the left wall completely. Here we go. Follow the left wall. Do not divert from the left wall. Left wall only. Because the ax is just to our left behind us. Okay, that's a dead end. Just keep following that left wall. Do not divert from the left wall. Wow, that is taking a while. Don't divert from the left wall. Do not divert from the left wall. There we go. There we go. Even though we're going down all these little crevices and stuff and probably doing a lot of backtracking, all mazes, basically, you've, you've got to stick to a wall. I've never met a maze yet that didn't somehow go back to the finish line by following a wall. Although it does take a while. Ha 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 ha. So there you go. You can just follow the right wall on the way back. Uh, actually, to see time difference and confusion, let's go back. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, it's stuck. Come on, there we go. Get up there. Come back, come back, come back. So, <clears throat> let's follow the left wall back. So we're only on the left wall, which would be the right wall here and see how much of a difference it is. Left wall only. 
all the way. Okay, that looks like a dead end. That That is a dead end. Get back out of there. Left wall, that's a dead end. Left wall, left wall, left wall. Okay, so just remember that that is a dead end. Left wall all the way, why am I? Oh my goodness. Okay, you gotta turn sideways to get through there. Whoa. not supposed to go. Left wall. Left wall. Left to roo. Sorry guys, it gets cold in my studio, and I do have a heater on me, but it's just kind of chilly, which causes my nose to clog up. I'm sorry. It happens sometimes. People get stuffy noses. Left wall, left wall, left wall. I think the right wall was much easier. Didn't seem quite as confusing. Ha ha ha! It worked. Now I bet there's a shortcut. Oh gosh. Oh no! This is what I was saying. Kari, give me that axe box. Please. Can't sit around and wait all night for him, right? We gotta go. We gotta do this. All right, <clears throat> let's go ahead and open it up. Grab our mini axe. What? All right, and it is nighttime, so let's turn off the filters. There we go. It's a little dark. Uh, big old oak tree here. One. Is that an oak tree? I think it's a koa, or not a koa. Uh, Walnut. Three, four, I don't know why I'm clicking so fast. Five. Five chops for the mighty walnut tree. Now somebody told me that the oak trees are now like one chops. There's an oak, there's an oak. Come here, oak tree. I gotta see this. Gotta see this for myself. Oh no, that's not one chop. Two. Three. Oh, that's an elm. But an elm tree. Three chops. Wow. Not bad. Oh, can we do the um the old switch the axe at the last second move? Uh, if you guys have not seen this performed, I'm horrible at it. So let's go. fast switch doesn't work either okay well it was a thought it was worth it worth the test I'm glad I tested it <clears throat> oak trees are definitely one chop now <gasps> I wonder if I could chop like how many oak trees I could chop within a minute or something like that all right Manny or not Manny <laughs> Manny Axe merrily would like to uh, take my money yeah take it Take my money. Thanks. Bye. Got it. 
do, 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 do. I hope you've enjoyed these last couple of videos because I mean I'm having a lot of fun at them, and uh, I'm I'm excited. I'm excited for Christmas. I'm excited for uh, the month of December. This is this is amazing, guys. Seriously, you gotta go sub though. You gotta sub and hit that notification bell because how else would you get the notification that I I you know posted a video of me in the lumber? <laughs> All right, come on. It's a little loud whenever you're like right up here. Need to put a muffler on my car. Oh, do 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 do. If you've not gotten a pink car yet or a pink truck, um, just keep keep trying. It will eventually happen. I promise. Oh, there's the green lights. Hello. I knew I had another set of green lights somewhere. Right, well, stop. Here we go. Right around the edge. Come on, come on. Oh, it didn't reach all the way. Finished. There we go. We'll come back and decorate this sometime. Sometime. Hopefully before Christmas. Alright, I can get this one off the base. Put this one on the base. And oh my gosh, we've got more trucks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just so you know, I did not spawn all of these. Like, these are all gifts. So, thank you. It's from viewers like you. <laughs> Supported by viewers like you. That is that is a one chop. Of course, I think the end times X. No, that's a three chop. One. Yeah, three chop. One chop. Nice. Nice. <laughs> oh, speed record for uh, oak trees downed. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. But remember, it's your choice. That's just a call out I have to do. Because YouTube's like, do a call out. And I'm like, okay, YouTube, you're the boss. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. I will talk to you very soon. <sighs> Outro.